Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be installing ATS's electronic fueling regulator, better known as the Boost Fueler. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to be installing a Boost Fooler on this 2005 uh, Dodge 5.9 liter Cummins. It's actually Adam's truck. But we want to talk about Boost Foolers, so, we, so there are a lot of misconceptions about what a Boost Fooler does. So hopefully we can explain this to you and so you can make an educated decision as to if this is the uh, product for you or not. So on the 2004.5 to 2007 5.9, Leader Cummins in the Dodge applications. The electron, the wastegate on the turbo is electronic, and the wastegate will begin to actuate at about 33.4 psi. Shout out to Ben Shaddy for that number uh, right there. But at 33 pounds, you're going to start getting a wastegate to open. That is to help to protect the engine. But what happens is, is the motor actually begins to defuel at that time to regulate the regulate the boost. Well. For a couple of different applications, that's not going to work. You guys that have got performance chargers on your truck, if you've got a performance charger on your truck, you are already looking for a higher boost number capability. And for you stock guys, if you're towing, if you start creeping up on that 32, 33, 34 PSI, especially while you're towing, you're probably going to be going uphill. The truck's going to be in a little bit of a strain. You need to maintain that boost so you can keep the EGTs under control. That's where the boost filler is going to come into play for you. So. Let's talk just a little bit about what the boost fuller does. So when you put the boost fuller in line on your map sensor, what it's going to do is it's going to regulate the voltage output from the map sensor to 4.2 p 4.2 volts. That's going to show a little bit south of 30 psi to the ECM. So we're not going to have to worry about the ECM trying to cut back our fueling. We're going to get full boost capabilities of the truck. Now, the ATS version is one that we sell a ton of. This is the first one I grabbed today. We also sell Quadzilla. We're going to do a couple of videos on the Quadzilla boost fillers as well um, just to kind of show you that product too but today we're going to be showing you the ATS one this is a very very good product it works really really well we've had very good success with this product now again like I said this is good for a stock charger truck if you especially if you're towing to make sure that you're maintaining the boost that you need it is even better for your performance application guys, guys that have got aftermarket charges that are on the truck because you're already performance minded. You know what you're looking for in your truck. You don't want to be hindered by the truck trying to defuel you. Now, one thing I want to say before we get into the installation of this product, this is a use at your own risk product as well. You have to understand this is going to give you full fueling and thereby full boost capabilities of your truck. Understand that and know that. Know that your truck has limitations trucks that have got stock head bolts and stock head gaskets. Understand you can take it too far and you can you can cause yourself a blown head gasket or things of that nature. So you have to understand what the capabilities of your truck are and you have to understand when you need to basically get out of the throttle and save yourself a truck. So without further ado, let's get started with our installation. So your boost fooler is going to install at your map sensor on almost all of the platforms on all of the applications that they, they have boost fuelers for. This product is out for the Dodges, they've got them for the Fords, they've got them for the Duramaxes. So you find your map sensor, this is going to be where the boost fooler goes. So on the 04 and a half to 0759 Dodges, it's going to be right at, at the top of the intake runner right here where my finger's pointing. So this truck already has a module in line. You can see the hookups here. It's already hooked in at the uh, fuel rail pressure sensor and it's also plugged in at the map. That's okay. It's still gonna work with your boost fooler. You just wanna make sure that you plug your boost fooler up first, closest to the map, so that the signal going to the ECM is what is going to be altered. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug our our EZ product here. And then we will plug in the boost fooler to our harness and then plug it in right back to the map. Push it in until it clicks and there you go. There is our boost fooler installed, installed at the map sensor pre the performance box so we've got it installed there 
So let's talk about that application for just a second. If you don't have an inline module, the Boost Fuller works. If you have an inline module, the Boost Fuller works. If you've got performance tuning via the ECM, via the programmer, the Boost Fuller still works. Even if you have those limiting factors taken out inside of your tuning via a programmer or if you think that your inline module takes the, takes the limiting factors of the, uh, the overboost defueling limiting factors out, it is still good, cheap, and easy insurance to use a boost fuller like the ATS product. You don't want to be in a situation, in a truck pulling situation, or in, a, in a competition uh, or drag racing or whatever and have your boost be limited by maybe at one table that's forgotten inside of tuning or an assumption that the inline module that you're using is going to keep you from having an overboost code and limiting your fueling. You want to make sure you get your fuel fueling. This is the way to do it. Cheap and easy insurance. I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. If you have a question about this installation, any other ATS products or any of our other installations, please give us a call, like and subscribe to our channel. And we close these videos out with so much stuff I can't even keep it straight anymore. Thanks for watching.